Hey YouTube family, welcome to another pickups video. As usual, we're going over all my recent shopping, footwear, skincare, clothing, and if it's your first time or maybe you only see me on YouTube shorts, this is the series where we not only talk about fashion, but we chill, we get to know each other. So we're talking anime, gaming, and for the first time books, and we're talking mostly visuals and creative stuff. And at the very end of the video, for those who want to stick around, I go over my personal life update. So welcome to my channel. Now starting off with footwear, I want to show y'all these tassel loafers by Sebago. Beautiful maroon color, polished leather and that classic silhouette and if you look at the heel it's fully rubber so these are a lot less slippery than your usual classic loaf and i love how these look on foot they work with slim pants baggy pants everything else in between and i give the comfort a nine out of ten and if you do want to get these for yourself make sure you go a half size down because they do run big and just like everything else in this video they're linked in the description and then we have these horatio penny loafers and as you can see you got a three-tone color scheme black off-white and navy super soft tumble leather which feels oh so buttery and if you notice the silhouette is identical to the Gucci loafer, but for a way better price point. If you look at the bottom, you notice I added some sole protectors that give you immediate grip, so you're not slipping and sliding around. And the comfort level on these, I give a 12 out of 10. I have about three loafers from these guys, and I wear them way too often. And the last shoe I'm gonna show you guys are actually made by me in my creative studio, and they're called the Claremont Mule. I named these after a prestigious historic hotel in my hometown. If y'all don't know, I'm from the Bay Area, and it's more of an elevated sculptural take on a slip-on mule. And this is super obvious, when you look at the side lateral view. The analogy I like to make is if the Birkenstock is a minivan, then these are like a vintage Corvette. And what you're looking at is maybe 85, 90% finished, but not quite the final versions yet. And if you wanna see behind the scenes on how these are made, I got a whole segment on my 4x4 journal series where I just take different adventures in my Land Cruiser and kind of show you behind the scenes of my life. So we go to the factory, we talk to the manufacturer, go through the design process, it's a whole thing. And I give you a link up here and in the description as well. Now moving on to skincare, I know that YouTube aren't really supposed to critique their sponsors, but y'all know I've been rocking with Geology for a while, so we cool like that. And ever since I first showed y'all them in 2019, the number one complaint that y'all have and the complaint that I have for you is that it's a subscription service. And not everybody trying to do all that. So they have finally listened and I'm happy to announce they are now in Target. No, for real. I went there the other day just to make sure myself and right there sitting on the shelf, the new clear system. And if you're one of those guys that like to do a whole bunch of different steps for their skincare, this is not for you. This is only a two-step process. You watch and moisturize in the morning with a little SPF and wash and moisturize at night. That's it. And as y'all know, I've been dealing with adult acne for a long time. I don't have it as bad as I used to, but I really want to get rid of it once and for all. So if you want to start this journey with me, pull up to your nearest Target. But for those of y'all who rather order online or maybe you don't have a Target close to you, the customized regimen is still available. So just hit the link in my bio, fill out a two minute questionnaire, and you get a customized regimen specifically for you and whatever your skincare problems are. And it's 70% off if you use my code DEVIN70. And to my friends at Geology, Thanks for sponsoring this part of the video. Now let's talk about clothing. I want to introduce to y'all the Osaka Carpenter. These were inspired by my trip to Japan last year. They're 100% cotton, made in Los Angeles. And the goal was just to make a really easy pant that you can style multiple ways. You can tuck in your shirt and wear them high-waisted, go with the more relaxed feel, whatever your vibe is. And you notice when I stand straight at the camera that like curve shape on the legs, that comes from the actuated knee detail. That adds a very subtle, interesting shape to the pant. And my favorite detail is the elastic that's only on the back of the pant which allows the front to stay clean, but you still have the same comfort and the flexibility of a sweatpants. So say your weight fluctuates or you're not sure what your size is, you're still gonna be pretty accurate because it's gonna hug you a little bit in the back. It's a lot of versatility with these and I'm extremely proud of them. And then we have the Abercrombie 90 straight denim. I put these in my last pickups video, you know I got that light color, but now I have the medium wash and I also have the black. These are my favorite jeans right now. And if you saw the last episode of 4x4 Journal, you saw this full outfit already, but I just wanted to show you how they fit over loafers. You got plenty of room through the thigh, but they're not like overly baggy. It's just like a perfect, just like they say, like a 90s fit. And I don't see myself buying any more jeans for the next couple years at least. Oh, before I move on, I just want to say thank you for all the support of the 4x4 Journal. Y'all have been amazing. I'm not sure how this happened, but the first video has like 100,000 views already, like the very first episode, and that's ridiculous. I had no idea that would happen. Usually when you start something new on YouTube, the algorithm hates you. It's kind of hated on me on the last, like most recent video, but it doesn't matter. I'm really happy about the progress so far. We're trying different stuff. It's kind of a vlog, docu-series, etc. For those of y'all who've seen it, you know. Also, I know a lot of y'all aren't in the cars like that, so no big deal to support it but for those of you who have, 
I'm so, so grateful. You're helping this channel diversify, be better and expand. And it feels good to be able to connect with y'all on things more than just like shoes and clothes. You know what I mean? Okay, it's time to talk about gaming. Have y'all seen that new trailer for Captain America and Black Panther? Please tell me you have. It's made with the latest Unreal Engine. And when they did that demo, the fidelity, the rate of pixels, whatever the technical terms are, the quality is high, okay? The game itself looks like a cutscene. The game, it looks amazing. The acting, one of the first games that I'm really, really excited about in a long time. And I really, really look forward to looking at the gameplay. But if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. And let me know in the comments what games you guys are looking forward to and what you recommend that I look at. You know, I'm always keeping my eyes peeled for like very story driven games. So yeah, let me know. Oh, and I finally started a new anime series. Blue Eye Samurai. If y'all haven't seen this yet, I highly recommend it. I've only seen one episode so far, but the animation is beautiful. The storyline has been strong so far. You got some great action, some great scenes that are just beautiful to look at. So just, just watch it, trust me. Trust me. Oh, and I also just got two new books. So this first one I got for my birthday, it's called Japanese Design Since 1945. It covers everything from furniture to typography to automotive, product design, architecture. Y'all know I'm not just a weeb or an anime fan. Japanese culture is integrated in my life in numerous ways. And as a designer, it's great to be able to reference this and do research and really absorb what some of their most creative and strategic minds have brought forward since 1945, apparently. And this next one is a very rare book. It's called Land Cruiser 70 translates to traces of development and improvement, but basically just follows from when the truck first came out, all the things they did to it to improve it over time. And as y'all know, this is the truck that I have, a literal Japanese Land Cruiser. It's a right-hand drive, very fun to ride around in LA with, extremely rare, but also not hella expensive. But it's great to be able to look at the past and see all that went into making this legendary truck what it is. Because as you know, a lot of the clothes that I make, the shoes you saw, these have taken months, sometimes a year to really get it exactly how I want to before I show you guys. Because I wouldn't want to buy anything that somebody didn't put blood, sweat, tears, and like a lot of thought into. But hey, maybe I'm off base. Maybe I'm not reaching the right audience. But what I believe is happening, based on our conversations in the comment section and you know the DMs that I get from you guys, we on the same page. Y'all like creative stuff. You like to dive into things. You guys are nerds about more than just clothes and stuff, right? So yeah, these are the kind of books that I'm into. If you want to do more book talk, let me know. But I just thought these were really special and I wanted to share them this time. Maybe not every time, but yeah, like I said, let me know. Okay, now for the life update. My favorite part, personally. And it's crazy because it didn't always used to be. But anyway, fatherhood has been wild. My son is now coming up on six months. This guy is extremely vocal now. Just listen to this, listen. All right. And then what happened? For real? Yeah, that's him. He's using his hands a lot. He's very slappy, very hands-on, and just like really fun to be around and be with. He's not really an extremely fussy kid, which I appreciate. He's eating solid foods now. Avocado so far, not really his thing. Sweet potatoes though, I mean, they're a little bit sweet, so he likes them. And one thing I've been focusing on a lot in therapy is dealing with my self-comparison issue. You know I always encourage y'all to look at the internet for inspiration, but not comparison, right? You never know what that person's actually going through because people never really post their faults. They always post the good stuff, but I do with self-comparison, self-deprecating thoughts. And what's the other word I'm looking for? Imposter syndrome, heavily. I have to learn, and what I've been learning is that the next thing I do doesn't always have to be the best thing I've ever done. I gotta release myself from performing anxiety and like performing, right? Like I told y'all, I'm on a whole different wave right now where I gotta 100% be me. And I'm gonna tell y'all too much right now. So with these hats right here, we made more hats than we've ever made because I was tired of doing pre-sale. I said, right, let's just make a whole bunch of them. And they're vintage hats, by the way. These are vintage vintage blanks. We found them, dead stock, still brand new, that 90s Seinfeld Martin era. That's where the inspiration came from this, the lookbook, and then recontextualizing for today. But because they didn't sell all the way out like they usually do, they're almost gone, but they're not all the way gone. I feel like that was a fail. And you might have the misconception that, oh, you know, you have all these followers, anything you put out should sell out, but not necessarily. A lot of y'all are hearing about these hats for the first time. You might not ever knew this even happened because of how algorithms work and all that, right? It is what it is, but I've learned to be grateful for the process and again, to release myself from having to be perfect every time I do something. But I will say this, if you do like this hat, it does come in three colors. And like I said, it's vintage, there's a story to it. You know, we do everything here locally. So if you mess with it, you know where to find the link. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay, well, that's all I got for y'all in this video. If you're one of my real ones that made it this far, please drop a comment and I'll make sure to heart it, reply, all that type of stuff. Thank you for your time. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.